Nobody came. Oh. Oh, no. That's a puzzle. <laughs> Nigga, you gay. That's, that's rude, Ethan. You're rude. Stop being rude. You know, the last time you were rude, you were being really rude. Chara killed me, mom. Well, I'm sorry for killing your mom. I'm so fucking lost. Where do I go? Guys, help! You Ruth figured. By the way, for those of you who don't know, uh, Marine Kid is um, my my very um, he's a friend. He's a very very long. Hey, come on, it's easy. That's just it. If it's easy, I suck at it. Elevator. Okay. This is a, this is a God damn it. Yes, I know. I figured it out. Thank you, Undertale. Or Undertolly. God damn the fuck. Why am I stupid? Why do I do the dumb all the time? Oh, right, come on, it's easy. That's just it. If it's easy, I suck at it. Elevator. Okay. This is a, this is a Metaton battle, isn't it? My, my! So you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh, my. That's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. I'm going to get owned. Ha ha ha! Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial. There's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, those original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you my true form. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime! I think I nailed that. What the fuck is this? Are you shitting me? Ninety attack. Stage lights are blaring. How the fuck am I supposed? Mm, great. All right, let's do it. The fuck? Gah. Guess you don't want to join my fan club. What the fuck was that? What? That was easy as shit! What? What was the- what was the point of that shit? Oh, I'm level 19! Oh, I'm level 19! Oh, I am level 19! Oh my god, I'm level 19! That means the next boss is- That means the next boss. Oh no. The next boss is Sans. Oh no. I guess so. All glamour and no bite. Better than 80% of other players I've seen. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. What the fuck is this, like a castle? I mean, I've been here before. I should know this. I oh, I'm heading toward the new home. 
No, guys, I don't want to fight Sans! God damn it. This is going to take forever. This is going to take forever. You're going to be here for a while, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to die countless amounts of times. So there's a knife in here. No. Yes. Okay, hold on. Um... Oh. Fuck, do I have to drop something? Fuck the dog residue. The real knife. 99 attack. Here we are. About time? It said about time! Jesus, fuck. You better get bent over for Sans, because you're about to get boned. Oh no! He leaves them in the kitchen in the hallway. Let's go to the kitchen first, then. What the fuck? Oh, F Flowey! Howdy, Chara! You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? Hee hee hee. Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. Okay, Flowey. There's a key. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Stove top. I've read this already. Alright. There's some white fur sticking in the drain. No chocolate. <laughs> What's your trash can? It's full of crumpled up receipts of butterscotch pie. Don't hurt Sans. Sans is my skeleton buddy. Well, he's gonna have to die. It's a great chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone's used it. I remember when we first woke up here, in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me, I called out. But nobody came. But nobody came. Here we go. Oh shit. Eventually, the king found me, crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he told me, Chara. He held me with his tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be alright. He was so emotional, but for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. You took a key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's me, Chara. No, Ezreal! Well, thank you for following me. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the family. Oh, it's... I unlocked the chain. Okay. Thanks, nice Queen. So cool! I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, Chara. I thought of all people, she would make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> and by she, they're talking about Toriel, not me. I realized those two were you were. <laughs> I realized those two were useless. I became disappointed. Despondent. I'm stupid. I apologize. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Chara, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know that? And you know what? I succeeded. I can't say words. But as I left this moral coil, mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought, I don't want to die. 
Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I don't know. I don't know how he can run. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Char must have death fight when Chucky and the Freddy too. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be cool, actually. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could just have... Oh, wait, sorry. I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Chara? I was amazed, too. All right. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was a... Sorry, their companionship was amusing for a while. At, as time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. Onion Sands Garden. I saved the garden. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos who stand around and watch it happen. You guys, all 27 of you, me, I'm the one that's causing it, all 27 of you, Flowey just called you a sicko. You like that? You like that? A flower just told you you're a fucking sicko. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry. Nowadays, even that's growing tiring. You understand, Chara. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've... <sighs> I've appeased everyone. I've killed everyone. Set of numbers, lines of dialogue. I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Chara. Fuck you, Flowey. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Chara, your determination. Somehow, it's even greater than mine. I just have one question for you, Chara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left, and decided to give you a proper burial, rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Sorry, my, my, my doge is doing the barking. My doge be doing the barking. Is that my car? That better not be my car. I'll kill somebody. Hold on a second. Bro, oh. bro, I think yeah, you have to do my keys. Oh, here you go, bro. Yeah, actually, I'm going to just keep that moving. Bro, we're going out soon. It doesn't matter now. You're coming, too. I'm so tired of this, Chara. I'm tired of all these people. The phone, I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. You're going to? Chara, yeah. there's just one thing left I want to do. <laughs> Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let... Oh, shit. Let's oh, let them oh. see what humanity is oh. really like. There's, there's a door. Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Alright. Oh, shit, Dory. I almost fucking sat on you. I want Char to be my mom. Why would you want that? The dog was never asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we talking too loud? What? Are we being too loud? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to read dialogue and shit and read my chat. Just make sure that it isn't that loud. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Then, well, I had been entertaining a few. Sorry, been entertaining a few ways to use that power. 